Hey, this is Future Rob here, just doing some work here at the studio, working on these uh, vlogs and podcasts. Um, this is me warning you that this one is going to contain some pretty heinous stuff. So this is just a warning because this story does depict graphic violence towards women. And some viewers may be bothered by that. But, you see, it's important that I have to discuss these things just to tell the full narrative of this story because this guy's a turd. Hello, my name is Bobby Quarters. And in this vlog, we're gonna have, well, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a true crime story that happened in 1980. See, there's this guy who was living in this, uh, in Skidmore, Missouri. Kind of thought of himself as like a big bully. Like, you know, he wanted to run the town. Uh, his name was Ken Rex McElroy. And he's kind of a scumbag, to put it lightly. You see, Ken, uh, he went to... He was tried several times for many different crimes throughout his life. Um, and then he also kind of preferred the company of uh, women uh, between the ages of uh, 13 and 14. Well, that's not cringy. Kind of a scumbag, like I said. Not too many real redeeming qualities about him. <laughs> um, He had this real mob attorney from Kansas City. I guarantee you, he had the most smarmiest smile that has ever been put on any face ever. Exactly. Yeah. But the town got sick of Ken. They got real tired of, uh, you know, him throwing his weight around and being a bully. They didn't take real kindly to it, you know, as, as no town person should. Uh, one night, in 1981, they surrounded his car and opened fired. About 60 witnesses on the scene, but yet no one has been tried or sent to the guilty party, or no guilty party is found, so his murder still to this day remains unsolved. 60 people. Nobody saw it even. <laughs> but a town that got away with murder. That easy. I mean, I guess the moral of the story is uh, just be a good person. Don't be a pedophile. Don't be a piece of trash. Good riddance?